So hello friends, let us today discuss with the diseases of the conjunctiva in this uh, ophthalmology playlist. So uh, what in this throughout this video, I will be discussing with you about the allergic conjunctivitis, the vernal keratu conjunctivitis, flinter conjunctivitis, uh, or flintenular conjunctivitis, pterygium, pseudoterygium, and membranous conjunctivitis, panis, uh, Herbert's spits and trachoma, its complication within the eye, and why. Uh, it has called the global blindness. It is recognized as the global blindness and one of the main reason for uh, uh, one of the main criteria in the vision 2020. Okay, so all these things we will be discussing in this video. So please stay tuned. So let us start with this video allergic conjunctivitis. What is conjunctiva especially? Conjunctiva it is a thin transparent membrane made up of epithelial layers of uh, epithelial cells. Epithelial cell that is actually squamous epithelial cell that line your eyeball and palpebra. Palpebra that is the inside of your uh, eyelid is called as palpebral region. Uh, so everything is uh, covered just like a blanket covers over you uh, when you sleep. The same way the eyes covered something by a layer, thin layer of uh, uh, thin layer of the epithelial cell or the layer or membrane of the epithelial cell that is called as conjunctiva and its inflammation is called as conjunctiva. So, what is the allergic conjunctivitis? So, together in nutshell, when you put together allergic conjunctivitis, it is an inflammation of the conjunctiva due to allergens. What is allergens? Something like pollen, dust, okay, hives, okay, so hay fever, you can re resemble with a hay fever, okay, somewhere uh, coming with the sinusitis and all, okay, in association with the allergens, whenever the pollens like allergens or any bacterial antigens like allergens, whenever it gets trapped within the eye, the immune response starts towards that allergen, okay, and that causes inflammation of your conjunctiva resulting in allergic conjunctivitis. So, how a doctor uh, treat this allergic conjunctivitis? First of all, whenever it is an inflammation, it is not because of any kind of contagious infection. So, just an allergen has entered within you and an inflammation process has been started. Uh, to stop the inflammation, the doctor gives eye drops of corticosteroids, especially prednisolone, dexamethasone, okay, this kind of uh, anti-inflammatory drugs which are actually corticosteroids in nature. Usually, it is used as an ophthalmic solution because it is not for the quite longer usage of time very short usage of time we will be using this thing so that's why we will be describing or prescribing 1% of the prednisolone acetate solution uh, eye drops to treat uh, this conjunctiva that is the inflammation of the conjunctiva okay this was all about the allergic conjunctivitis so whenever this allergic conjunctivitis is not treated properly or not treated in time when it goes prolonged uh, without uh, any notice then it may lead to blindness or severe eye infection as well as well as corneal ulceration corneal scarring so within a prolonged stage of time this uh, very minor allergic conjunctivitis will lead to very serious problems okay so next comes with the vernal keratoconjunctivitis it is also a kind of conjunctivitis means the inflammation of the your conjunctiva plus keratto keratto refers to something called cornea Okay, cornea, the transparent layer of, uh, in front of the iris, okay, that helps in the focusing, that plays a very important role in focusing the light also over the lens, okay, that is called as cornea. So, coronal keratoconjunctivitis is also abbreviated as VKC, it is also usually abbreviated as VKC, uh, vernal keratoconjunctivitis very rich and uh, infectious material like staphylococcus, streptococcus, diphtheria, Okay, cornibacterium diphtheria, even that bacteria, trachomonas bacteria, they get lost or they get lost somewhere in the body. Uh, their antigen, because uh, their antigen reacts with our own immune system and the, our own immune system produces antibody resembling to that antigen as well as that antibody even targets our own cornea and conjunctiva. This condition will be referred to as vernal keratoconjunctivitis. Okay, just like rheumatic arthritis, uh, okay, rheumatic infection or autoimmune diseases, somewhere uh, when our own anti uh, immune system develops antibodies against our own immune uh, against our own host cells. Okay, at that time when we call this will be called as anti 
auto immunity or a hypersensitivity reaction or a rheumatic reaction so yeah the same thing is with the vernal keratoconjunctivitis conjunctivitis whenever uh, the uh, and uh, bacterial infection occur within our body within our eyes itself or anywhere in the system uh, the our own immune system produces a lot of antibody that uh, antibody not only target the antigen but also target our host cell uh, that is especially the cornea and the conjunctiva at that time we call it as an vernal character conjunctiva especially presently we don't have any treatment for the autoimmune disorders as well we have only uh, supportive treatment like anti-inflammatory corticosteroid especially uh, again the prednisolone 1% acetate or dexamethasone this will be given as a supportive therapy for uh, this kind of keratoconjunctivitis which refers to uh, inflammation of cornea both cornea and conjunctiva next comes with the uh, flea, uh, flea flick tenula flick tenula it's very difficult for me to pronounce uh, even after practicing so many times flick tenula flick tenula or flick tenular conjunctivitis flick tenular conjunctivitis refers to a uh, kind of nodular inflammation there is a nodular kind of inflammation uh, inflammation uh, where in which a nodule red color nodule which you can see in this image here okay uh, can you see the nodule nodule at the junction of cornea and sclera or at the limbus okay uh, there will be a nodular inflammation nodular inflammation at the junction of the cornea and the sclera or over the conjunctiva, somewhere over the conjunctiva, again it is because of uh, some inflammatory reaction. Again, it is a kind of inflammatory reaction wherein which the, our own body immune system reacts with the, the bacterial antigen, especially the TB bacterial antigen, or it may be staphylococcal bacterial antigen, that it reacts and it forms some granular or nodular mass at the, the limbus or over the conjunctiva or over the cornea. Okay, this type of reaction is called as uh, flick tenular conjunctivitis. So again, it will be treated with using the anti-inflammatory or anti-histamine drugs, corticosteroids drugs are used to stop this conjunctivitis. Fine. Next comes is the pterygium. What is pterygium then? The so pterygium refers to uh, development of the mass, extra mass. It is a part of the conjunctiva. It develops from the conjunctiva itself. It uh, 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 it develops right from this annular part towards the cornea and it sometimes it covers the entire cornea it may be unilateral or bilateral it is usually occurs in the people who are mostly exposed towards the uh, sunlight bright sunlight in the hot air uh, uh, places when they are working in the windy areas they are working okay at that time this develop it is a uh, development of an extra whitish mass over the uh, eye over the cornea it actually it depletes itself when the person is, uh, it is not in such a benign condition, it is not a cancerous condition, it, uh, even it uh, uh, get treated by its own when the person stops going, uh, exposing to, uh, himself towards the ultraviolet rate or towards going to the sun. Uh, but sometimes even oxygen, surgical oxygen is done uh, to remove this uh, pterygium. Okay, so this is uh, not a major concern with the, the, uh, any kind of infection is uh, might be happening with the pterygium, it is not that much of concern. But sometimes pseudo pterygium may develop. What is this pseudo pterygium, which is most problematic? Whenever there will be any trauma over the cornea, the cornea you should know what is cornea now. Okay, the cornea, whenever there is a trauma or there is an, any kind of ulceration over the cornea, scarring over the cornea, inflammation of the cornea, the palpebral conjunctiva, especially the lower conjunctiva, this is called as lower uh, eyelid okay the lower eyelid inside the lower eyelid you can see the redness that redness is covered by conjunctiva that is called a palpebral conjunctiva whenever this palpebral conjunctiva gets stuck or gets sticked with the cornea and that condition it is called as pseudoterygium okay but it can be easily uh yeah it can be diagnosed by passing the probe or cotton probe or uh, some uh, uh, within the ophthalmology department it can easily be diagnosed by passing the uh, cotton swab or even a cotton probe will be passed through it and uh, if any underneath surface is there uh, or just by seeing also you can diagnose it is a whether it is a pseudo or a terygium. fine again it can also be treated using 
uh, what you call a surgical excision is done to treat this pseudoterygium uh, along with uh, using anti-inflammatory drugs to stop the inflammation after the surgical excision and even uh, antibacterial drugs are even administered to stop the systemic infections okay so next comes with the membranous conjunctivitis now what is this membranous conjunctivitis it is a very different type of uh, conjunctivitis and it is very serious uh, conjunctivitis why it is so because a kind of uh, a pseudo membrane a kind of an uh, a pseudo or uh, any another kind of membrane develops over the normal conjunctiva it is usually yellow in color uh, with filled with uh, histologically filled with fibroblast fibrin and few, uh, few uh, inflammatory cells will be there okay it is usually caused because of uh, the diphtheria infection very serious kind of infection or uh, systemic diphtheria infection leading to the secondary membranous conjunctivitis or it may also be caused because of the streptococcus pyogenes bacteria Okay, serious. It is a very serious, serious infection which may lead to the blindness or complete loss of the eyeball, leading to thysis uh, bulbi. That is, uh, uh, the curvature of the eyeball get damaged. It may be distorted. It is your eyes get totally lost if it is not treated. Okay, the diphtheria infection will be there. So serious antibiotic, uh, immediate antibiotic treatment regimen has to be started, especially erythromycin, azithromycin. Uh, these are the drugs which are mostly used along with the prednisolone, dexamethasone is an anti-inflammatory drug to stop the inflammation the membranous conjunctivitis it is a very serious kind of uh, infection or insulin infection as long with the inflammation of the conjunctiva where in which a pseudo membrane a transparent yellow gray white color membrane is formed both on the palpebral uh, side uh, that is the within the eyelid side the eyelid as well as over the uh, your bulbar conjunctiva it may happen over the both the sides so this was membranous conjunctivitis. Next comes to the what is panis? Panis refers to uh, panis refers to. You can see in the image over here. The cornea, the cornea is usually avascular, it doesn't have its own vascularity, but people who are uh, myopic, presbyopic, astigmatic or hypermetrophic, that is, they have some error, refractive error and they, are, uh, they have the habit of wearing the contact lenses even for the cosmetic purposes. Whenever the cornea doesn't get enough oxygen from the directly from the environment, it get hypoxic. Okay, even in the case of trauma, even in the case of a burn because of ammonia or any kind of acid attacks will be there. Whenever this kind of uh, incident happen and the cornea is deficient of the oxygen, hypoxia happen to the cornea, that time uh, the vascular system, they start producing micro vas vessels or capillaries within them. Okay, radial vessels start descending towards the cornea to supply it with the oxygen. This condition is called as pans. Now, whether panis is uh, lethal, whether it is fatal uh, or whether it causes any kind of damage to your to vision, yes, whenever the blood vessels start growing within your cornea, your vision get blurred, your, you cannot see the entire light that is coming, you cannot pursue the entire light that is focusing over your cornea, you, are, uh, you will start getting the blurred vision, sometimes you may go blind because completely the cornea may get blind. How will you treat again? It doesn't have any kind of treatment. First of all, you can uh, need to keratoplasty. You have to go for the keratoplasty only. Okay, so this is the fatal thing, or which is uh, the very sad thing with the panis. So usually ulceration is the main cause, or any kind of uh, uh, continuous usage of the lens, uh, contact lenses, so is the main. Uh, reason for avoiding the contact lenses because the contact lenses was the panis okay so this is what the panis is what is herbert pitts now so herbert pitts refers when so okay we have a, you have seen uh, the uh, some kind of ulceration scars over the arms or uh, on the, over the right arm or over the left arm okay somewhere here somewhere uh, it is because of the bcg vaccine whenever we give the bcg vaccine and because of the cellular immunity start attacking your that bcg vaccine and produce uh, get strengthened Okay, because the vaccine strengthens your immune system the same way that whenever the trachoma enters your uh, eye and because the trachoma has been killed by your eye microphages or eye uh, uh, phagocytes, the pit is created in the limbus. Okay, the trachoma chlamydial bacteria when enters your eye it causes infection at the limbus that is the junction between your uh, cornea and the sclera. The pit is formed, okay, if it is a surface, plain surface and it, uh, this, this thing is called as pit, 
okay this whenever the granular tissue is formed and that is degenerated that is phagocyte or that is removed but the remaining scar within the upper part the in the margin of the limbus that is called as uh, herbert's pits it is usually a result of the trachoma infection so now what is trachoma then trachoma it is the bacterial infection of eye caused by chlamydia trachomatis so what is trachoma trachoma is the infection infection of what infection of your eye your eye uh, because of bacteria called trach chlamydia trachomatis chlamydia it is a main causative organism for causing non gonococcal urethritis cervicitis pelvic inflammation okay so these are the mainly sexually transmitted diseases but how do you get within your eyes when it is a sexually transmitted disease uh, by direct uh, kissing or during the romance part or uh, by handling contaminated substances and then wiping your eyes you with your uh, contaminated finger or infected fingers okay at that time the uh, track the chlamydia bacteria the chlamydia trachomatis bacteria get inoculated within your eyes and start damaging your cornea so at that time uh, if you don't treat yourself with erythromycin or azithromycin 100 mg and another uh, with the addition of uh, the anti inflammatory corticosteroid immediately then it may result in the blindness and complete irreversible blindness you cannot treat with any lens you cannot treat it with any chemicals when your entire eyeball get infected with the trachomonas uh, bacteria so it is very fatal infection trachomonas uh, 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 chlamydia trachomatis so this was all about the disease of the conjunctiva so thank you for watching my video